Did you happen to read his four statements after the shooting? Yes, I did. When did you do that, by the way? I did quite a bit of reading and preparing to be here today. I see that. I didn't see anywhere that he read that the fantasy was embarrassing to him. Two years after, you did quite a bit of reading for your testimony here today, but when you were deposed two years after the event, and you knew about it months before that, and you had testified in a criminal case, you had testified in a criminal deposition regarding the criminal case, you claimed you hadn't read one thing. Isn't that true? Yes, that's right. I had not. As a matter of fact, the only time you even started to read about this case uh, and what had happened on your show apparently was after I took your deposition in March of 1997. Isn't that true? I think that's correct, yes. And that's because you decided to make some money off of this. Isn't that true? I'm not sure where you're going. I didn't ask. That's not your... You don't have to worry about where I'm going. <laughs> okay, then what's the question? The question was, you didn't start to do any investigation and reading about what happened on the very show in which you were accused, you're, you as a member of the... Uh, as an agent of the defendants were accused of negligence uh, with regard to your conduct on the show until it became apparent that it could be profitable to you. What's the question? Profitable how? Make, you would make money by doing it. I have not made money from, from this particular show. I'm not sure what you're talking about. Well, as a matter of fact, you started a endeavor, which even though two years after the event, by the time of your testimony in the criminal case, you had read and investigated nothing. Am I correct? Yes. By the time of your deposition in the criminal case, you had read or investigated nothing, right? Okay. By the time... That's right. I'm right. Yeah, okay. <laughs> uh, by the time of your deposition on March the 4th, 1997, you had read or investigated nothing. Right? I believe so, yes. I'm not sure. Okay. Now, this case, this particular case, was started in 1995. Did you know that? This case, yes. Yeah. Now, apparently, the fact that uh, this one, the fact that uh, the defendants were being sued, in addition to the horrible tragedy which had occurred with uh, Jonathan Schmitz for at least two years, didn't motivate you to do any investigation about what had happened with reference to the events on your show, right? Well, I didn't prepare for the for the first trial because I wasn't supposed to be a witness. It's yes or no. Yes or no. If you can't answer the question, yes or no, you're then you just tell me. You, none of those appearances or, or, or required appearances, testimony in a civil deposition, a criminal deposition, and a criminal testimony had apparently motivated you to do some investigation about the possible culpability of the defendants, had they? Yes or no? Uh, I didn't prepare until this trial because Excuse I didn't... Excuse me, yes or right, no? Yes. Your Honor, finish. I mean, if you cannot answer the question, but well, she didn't answer. say, I cannot answer the question. Right, and Ms. Jones, if you can't answer the question, just say, I cannot I really answer can't the answer question. question. And it wasn't all... And by the way, the fact that you, uh, the, the defendants, Warner Brothers and Telepictures, the organization that you have a financial relationship with, that didn't apparently, at least for two years, didn't motivate you to do any investigation about the events and circumstances in that in this case did. Yes or no? That's, I can't answer that either. But the possibility of writing a book and doing a national book tour where you would make hundreds of personal appearances all over the country, years later, that motivated you to find out what had happened in this case, didn't it? Uh, no, it didn't. Have you read the book? Did you include a chap... I get to ask the questions. Okay. And it, yeah. Did you include a whole chapter in the book about your investigation of the facts and circumstances in this case? Yes, I did. Now, apparently, this book must have been written after you did your deposition on 
March the 4th, 1997, because at that deposition, you didn't know anything, did you? Yes, I prepared for the book after the deposition. I see. So I guess the pro despite somebody dying, suits being filed, testimony under oath, the only thing that motivated you to look at what you, or to do an investigation was the possibility that you could make personal appearances and, and capitalize off the events. Isn't that true? I don't make money on personal appearances. No, as a matter of fact, you do make money. 